G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a bloodied pepper shaker with 25% faster fire rate and VATS criticals filling 15% faster. So not a terrible set of legendary rolls on a pepper shaker. Bloodied obviously is really good for damage and activating all of the low health uh, stuff that you would usually associate with a bloodied sort of build. The fire rate's going to bump up the DPS by a significant amount because this thing fires kind of slow. But we've got the fire rate at 72, which is only just, just below the standard 75 automatic fire rate, which is pretty nice. And the VATS critical is filling 15% faster means I won't have to min-max my luck to 33 to get this thing to crit every other shot. All I need to do is equip critical savvy and then get my luck past 24, and then I can crit every other shot, which is great. Uh, it's a good roll. Uh, still going to be poor on the AP, but we'll have the unyielding agility in my build to sort of offset that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out both on power armor and without power armor. So what we'll do is we'll go and clear out the super mutants and the ghouls in power armor. Then we'll jump out and see what this thing can do with a more that centric crit heavy build. Um, we won't have all of the armor penetrating things like stabilize with uh, this thing when we aren't using it in power armor. So we'll have to contrast and compare the uh, different things there. But I think this is a pretty solid set of rolls. We're going with the dual barrel today. Um, that's just going to give me a slightly better damage per shot than the uh, hexa barrel that I had the other day, which is good. Allow me to quickly apply all of these perks because uh, this is kind of how you do it. You just got to shove on all of these perks. So it's a heavy gun and shotgun hybrid. All of those perks work for damage. You don't get any of the utility perks like bullet shield, uh, Heavy gunners, a lock and load, a skeet shooter as well. That that's in perception. I mean, scatter shot. So you could add all those together for a lightning fast reload, especially when you've got a speed demon and a faster reload tertiary legendary effect. But we don't have any room for that. We're maxed out at 15 with just damage perks. We've also chucked on bloody mess. We're going with Forza. We've got dodgy just for a little bit of extra. Uh, safety, uh, when we're taking damage, we don't take as much. We're going with Gunsmith Stabilizers there, because we're going to go in Power Armor. But now we are doing 138 and 22. We're going to bump that up a little bit more once we get into Nerd Rage Threshold. So we'll see how we go then. Okay, now we're at Nerd Rage Threshold in Green Filter Land. And there's my luck at 28. So I don't have Critical Savvy equipped, but if I wanted to do that... Then I can have a crit every other shot. Now we're doing 228 and 37. Keep in mind that that base damage that you see right there is going to be spread across all of the pellets and the projectiles we fire per shot. So it's not going to be as impressive because a lot of that will be absorbed by armor. But we can help ourselves out a little bit with that by the use of stabilize. That'll be nice once we jump into power armor. Here are my legendary perks. Uh, most of them are just to give me extra flexibility in my perk list here, like having an extra 3 luck or 4 luck at this point. Uh, quick hands, that's pretty not necessary. I'd probably rather have something like a uh, woodchuck on there. Maybe the thing that makes my mutation things less bad. Anyways, uh, we'll deal with that later, but yep, 228, 37, nice. Okay, so here we are outside of Graham's cook-off, and I've got this paint. It's called, like, League of Antiquities, but it's black paint. It reminds me of my car, so it's, it's actually a really cool-looking paint. I got no idea where I even got it from. It was probably on, the, like, the seasonal scoreboard or something. I, I don't even know. I don't pay attention to what... So, oh, wow, that was a good time to kill now, wasn't it? We'll keep going. Mmm, it's nice. Now, I did note how the ammo capacity seemed really small, especially for heavy guns, uh, when I was using this originally. And to put it in perspective, it's like 25% or so lower than the uh, light machine gun, which is current. It is, it is a lot. It's, uh... Usually a weapon that is, uh, everyone doesn't like it because it's got a very short ammo capacity. But if we're killing the, the things we're shooting at in less than a few shots, uh, well, the ammo capacity thing ceases to be a problem. So this thing's got some power up front. So we've used it a tiny bit at range, but now we're all going to be in point blank. So this might be interesting here. Okay, so now the cook-off has begun, and what we'll be doing is cooking the brains of super mutants. Because we're shooting them with lasers, and we're, we're gonna do do a stealth build. A, a stealth pepper shaker build right now. No, just kidding. 
was over before the second kill. But regardless, hey look, Swarm of Suitors is on. Yeah, it's broken. It's been broken for a long time. But yeah, this thing's really doing well. The spread on this thing, despite being a scatter gun, is great. It still doesn't sound like it's that powerful. It still sounds like a bloody popcorn machine, as someone in the comments pointed out last time when I had a little comment about the sound, but it's alright. I'll just listen to the sound of my voice instead. Yes, that sounds better. <laughs> I don't love the sound of my own voice. In fact, I think I sound tacky, especially when I hear myself being played back. But that's kind of normal for everyone to think themselves like that. Because how you sound like to yourself is never how you sound like to on a, on a microphone on playback. And people, people aren't used to that. Anyway, so the Pepper Shaker. It's an interesting weapon. I wonder how big the plans will go for um, when... Uh, when meat week is over because you can drop and trade these things So all you need to do is get one of your buddies to drop you a non-legendary variant Which they can just craft at any time Hell, you can even get your buddies to cover the cost of uh, crafting it and maybe equip super duper and give them two for the price of one Maybe a few caps, but it's a it's a weapon that is e kind of easily available to the community It's not something like a uh, one of those gold bullion weapons where the game requires you to grind and they're all soul bound and everything So yeah, maybe there's like a dupe wave problem that might happen where everyone will just grab these things But you know, they're not game breakingly powerful. So whatever and they've got some cool utility factors that people might be able to utilize in terms of its DPS, I mean, it's good. We're still waiting for the barrel to spin up every time we want to shoot something, which leads me to believe I think that the B25 uh, light machine gunner that I'd use normally would be faster, but, you know, this is good for fusion cells. This is not quite legacy power because, you know, it's not doing that much damage, but it's, it's showing a lot of numbers here and it's doing its job very well the ammo capacity not much of a problem at 50 when we're killing stuff in two three shots all right so we could just like uh you know run around the ghouls and piss them off and all hold them at the choke point like your like your machine gunners back in battlefield 3 on grand bazaar and that's exactly what we're doing because it's fun and we should have a little bit more success than we had with the uh pretty much stock version of this weapon that I had last time and hopefully we can do this without having to go through too many reloads I got the quick hands perk that might help ow bugger off Wendigo ah I got radworms big sad right all right looks like everyone is out and about we're out of action points because dodgy and sprinting that's okay we shouldn't need them for too long more and there's a... Bambi's decided to pick a fight with the ghouls as well. Bloodthirsty deers for days, man. And now we'll just hold the line here. We'll hold the line against the ghouls. We'll sneak around the corner so they don't immediately hit us. I won't run out the door while well, he's going to attack Bambi's mum. I guess it's a stag, so Bambi's daddy. I guess it's the alternate version of Bambi where the thing survived. And now we jump over here. Okay, looks like we didn't have a good time of holding the line, or didn't ex <laughs> it didn't go as well as I expected, I suppose. Maybe that's because it just doesn't have the sustained DPS to just hold them all, and maybe the reload too. Um, yeah, possibly. But it did it did cripple a bunch of these chumps down here, so that's good. And it's certainly a faster killing weapon than the instance that I had the other day. So, I'm satisfied with that, but... Uh, looks like we're... Uh, finished with the ghouls at this point. Well, I might have a couple more running around, but they're probably... They've probably done that bug where they just launch themselves across the map and then, you know, forget where you are, or maybe. But... Oh, I can't even exit my power armor. That's weird. But yeah, I'm going to jump out of the power armor and then we'll swap our build out to uh, suit our needs. Alright, so we're going to be utilizing the little special thing again. And we're going to make a build here that is similar to the one I'm using now, but three less intelligence. So we'll crank up strength to 15, perception to 5, just like mine. And I've also got three endurance, charisma is dump stat. We'll go... Uh, 8 intelligence, 12 agility, and that should leave me with 12 luck. Bam, accept, and then we'll rename this 
to shaker tuned just as a little pre preliminary naming we might use this for something else someday but that allows me to oh i'm gonna have to throw the build together again hang on a second okay I've thrown together a build note critical savvy we've got serendipity ricochet for tanking as much damage without taking as much damage as possible we've got better criticals gun fill and forces still there for crippling uh you can see that stabilizers being dropped to fund luck for another so and so points and we're at nerd rage right now with uh, the unyielding armor that i have which i took off for no reason and then put back on and now we're at luck 31 that's way over 24 so we should be pretty much right to go here against swan and the crackheads not necessarily in that order all right so we might be against some tough competition here with the crackheads that spawn with laser guns but that's okay we'll be right now we don't have concentrated fire which uh means we're going to be targeting the torso but that's okay there's gunfu activated just there you're just a standard looking dude and this thing is pretty costly on the ap and we couldn't reload until the barrel stopped spinning that's a classic rotary barrel thing there and the crits are rolling in now and we didn't have a good shot at you yes um the whole vats thing is kind of strange with uh the rotary barrels because you gotta wait so long for the things to actually start going so you enter that and then i mean before you even enter that you spin up the barrel and if no one's there you gotta release the trigger or you start wasting your bullets and then you and if you, someone pops up after you release the trigger you gotta wait for the thing to spin up again so there's a, it feels kind of slow and stupid but that's okay we've got the glowing behemoth there we'll go for a couple of shots and he goes down in a few bullets. Very nice. Uh, we'll loot his corpse because the cap still means something to me here. And a stem pack never goes astray. Let's move on. All right, looks like the crackheads have already started to fight with the uh, crabs in the region. They're all marching into battle back here. We'll just uh, catch them and shoot them in the back. If we're lucky, we'll be able to get a little bit of follow-through action versus the uh, Mylurk Queen. I don't have plasma grenades equipped. I've got the uh, meat cleavers, which I'm about to yeet. There we go. Take that, Mylurk King, for 89 damage. It's, it's not a whole lot. But what do you expect? It's not a plasma grenade. It's just kind of weird theme novelty weapons. Oh, big whiff. There we go. There's 95 damage. 215. Look at that. That's brilliant. That was dumb. I should have just shot him. Alright, we've managed to catch the Myler King over here. <laughs> the crackhead with the sledgehammer is running away. Well, you could take me, a more dangerous threat, and then just run away when you find a Myler King, which, you know, in comparison doesn't seem so bad. And the Myler Queen has been summoned in caution. I wonder if you can get the follow-through bonus uh, using throwables here. Anyways, we'll use the Enforcer perk just to knock her down, and then we'll just shoot her in the legs. She'll fall in her ass multiple times or in her face, because uh, just for some reason when you re-cripple a thing, she, she just jumps up. But eventually you run out of her limbs to cripple, and we've got a three-star Mylurk. What's he going to give us? Nothing, because he's running away really fast, like. Stop right there. Criminal scum, you. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. I hate this shit. They really need to figure out what's causing this and stop it because this is ridiculous fortunately he got stuck on a wall there but he's turned around to start running really bad time to run out of bullets oh and the reload delay because the barrel spin down that's killer right there yeah it does feel like a very dopey approach to a uh weapon like this that's worth script at least as just, yeah, the weapon feels kind of dopey, and even though we're not in Nerd Rage, we're still getting the crit every other shot, so that's good. We might just keep this extra health around, even though we're missing out a little bit on damage, just so we can tank a few things. But yeah, it's just it's it feels too slow and too stupid to be like a dedicated VATS weapon, and um, it'd be cool if it sort of made itself a little bit more on the uh, unique side, being like a heavy rotary barrel gun that actually worked well in vats but it just feels it just nah not this one good try though 
Okay, now time to fight some Scorch Beasts and other things of Scorch. I wish you could prime the thing, make it shoot like prime shotgun shells, right? So then I wouldn't have to worry about getting fusion cells and carrying them around just to operate this thing at optimal uh, damage potential and ranges and everything. Alright, that Scorch Beast has been alerted, which is good news. We'll try to drop him a little bit. Alright. Fairly confident that he's going to be coming down in a second. Bad case of broken wing. Uh, unfortunately, he's not Mr. Mister, so we're not going to fix him. We're Actually, we're going to fix him. We won't have to worry about broken wings when we're done here. There we go. A little bit of uh, follow-through action there as we just <clears throat> mag-dump that stupid bat. And now for the crowd control section. And we don't have to worry about killing them outright. We could just, like, shoot them and cripple their legs to stop the threat entirely. So that's nice. Come on. Oh, I've mutated and become an egghead. Well, I didn't put starch jeans on. I know I cut corners somewhere. That's okay. I get extra intelligence now, motherfuckers. What do you reckon? Yeah. Joke's on you, chumps. I now get more XP from killing you. And, oh, God. Rotary Barrel Curse. Rotary Barrel Curse, I'll tell you that much. It's a curse on a weapon, and it makes it makes a lot of heavy guns very unappealing. Unless they've got a supremely high ammo capacity, but, you know, that doesn't save the Gauss minigun from being mediocre. Alright. Whack a new mag in whenever you're bloody ready. Man, I wish I wouldn't have to spend so many perks uh, specking into a shotgunner. I wish it was just heavy guns... Just heavy gun, so I can use lock and load to shove mags in this more quick. Or I could just cut damage corners and then uh, put on lock and load and scatter shot. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder what this thing would weigh if you had bare arms, a weightless variety, like variant of this weapon, and then also scatter shot. That'd be pretty good. But anyways, uh, they have it. Bloodied fire rate. It's interesting. Um. It's, it's powerful, but it just suffers from all of the standard complaints that I have about these rotary-barreled weapons. It's not great in VATS, because as soon as you let go of the trigger, you're waiting how bloody long before you can actually fire again. So unless you want to do a big, long burst and waste your precious fusion cells, unless you've got like tens of thousands of them, then that's fine. But if you want to keep firing, you're going to waste your precious AP, which will go away very quickly. So... I don't know. It's definitely not a good VATS option, I think. I think a better option for VATS would be something like a uh, Plasma Caster. Plasma Casters would be unreal. I might actually do one next. A Bloodied Lucky Plasma Caster? Really good. I think I've even rolled one just for messing around in the test server. But, you know, I'd actually like to perform a video on it because it's actually really good. Or maybe I'll go Anti-Armor Lucky. I've got one of those actually on my character at the moment in the live servers, and I don't think I've done a video on it. Maybe I have done a video on it, but with a calibrated capacitor and all of those associated critical perks, it's powerful. It's a lot more effective than this because it's accurate, and obviously this thing's not accurate at lands because it's a shotgun, which, you know, makes it a little less, uh, a little less of a utility. And it, and happens, as it so happens that enemies will just continually run away and if you're in that situation, good luck hitting them. This one decided to attack, though. We had to chase this guy from here down to here. Some really bad bugs going around at the moment. Maybe someone should take a look at that. Uh, someone with a voice other than me say to Bethesda, Hey, can you fix this? But yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, I feel like it's too clumsy and random, like a blaster, to be used as a really like proper... Ble bloodied heavy vats build because there's just better options out there and if i wanted really strong dps at a touch of a button of a pull of a trigger of a q and a mouse button one i'd use a gauss shotgun so i mean it's an improvement and i i do like it and i do see the utility value in it in certain applications but as a main dps i probably won't be dailying this anytime soon Unless I'm really drunk and fucking around, basically. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Also, I might give this one away, because, you know, 
I didn't actually get the plans myself. I might actually give it to Texas Weeds if he so wants this weapon, because, yeah, I've had my fun with it. We might um, revisit a bloody Pepper Shaker um, once the Fallout Worlds comes to life, and I just make one and, you know, shoot the Scorch Beast Queen with it. But I don't think it'll do very well, since there's no Prime and it's a scatter shot, and it'll just get eaten up by all of the things. We might have to, like, spam criticals just to get it to work. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. I... Be happy to let this one go. Thank you very much for watching, guys.